Hey, my name is Lucas, and I'm a senior here at Colchester High School. My capstone project is about prisoner wages, and inmates should be entitled to the federal minimum wage. I became interested about this topic after reading a few articles on prison jobs. One of them featured a prisoner being a matter to make any real amount of money. He was making $100 a day, which is a lot for a prisoner, but not, you know, a lot for someone else. It's also, like, un unethical. Uh, one large part of my reasoning is that private prisons are run out of businesses, so anyone with enough money, if you're rich enough, you can just buy a prison that's for sale, and you use those inmates for workers. They can be, like, working on a factory or, like, a production line. It's kind of ridiculous, you know? But if you're maybe asking if they're basically workers for their boss, shouldn't they pay the federal minimum wage by law? Well, they're not. The Fourth, Cir uh, the fourth Circuit of Public Appeals says that they don't. They're not entitled to it. Yeah, and they said for the last 50 years, they've operated that wardens and prisoners do not share the same relationship between prisoner and boss. And, you know, people always say that crime doesn't pay, but I think that being locked away is punishment enough, and you don't have to strip these other rights away from people. You know, it's, about, it's supposed to be about rehabilitation, and with them being locked up in this kind of way, when they go back to the workforce, they can be underpaid and under, and underappreciated. You know, once you guys read through my argument, I hope you guys can agree with me with that kind of stuff. You know, what they're doing with prisoners, it's kind of bad. They set up the system where prisoners run prisons, and they want prisoners to run the prisons to make money. It's just not right. Thank you.